Good morning, everyone. I um, thought I wasn't gonna vlog anymore in New York, but I decided to because I've got tonight and tomorrow left and I've got some cute things going on, so I thought I would carry on the vlog. I just had a little afternoon nap, which felt glorious. Before we get into the vlog, I wanna talk to you about a little something, um, but it's a little bit dark in here because I have my curtains closed, so let me open up my curtains, hang on. I want to talk about something that is a personal item, so if you have kids watching, this might be the time to fast forward. This portion of the vlog is sponsored by Lalo, and you've heard me talk about their items before, ooh, ooh. and today I'm going to be speaking about this little girly. It's called the Sona 2 Travel. There's also a travel lock on this, because I know sometimes when you're putting things like this in your suitcase, it's like... Oh, what if that button accidentally gets pressed? But there is a travel lock, so that's really handy. As you can see, it's tiny and the perfect little companion for when you're on your travels. This is the travel version of their best-selling device, the Sona 2. And as you can see, it's really small, it's super compact and easy to take with you when you travel. And you best believe I stuck this straight in my suitcase when I was packing for this trip. It may be small, but it is mighty. It combines powerful features, discreet design, and because of its compact size, it makes for the ultimate clitoral massager on the go. So if you've never tried a device like this, it's definitely a unique experience. This has been tried and tested by yours truly. Someone had to do it. Without making direct contact, this massager combines sonic waves and gentle pulses for a pretty incredible sensory experience. It's made of silicone and it's been designed so that the silicone absorbs the waves to deliver deep yet gentle. And I know what they mean by that. Like it is deep, but it is gentle. <laughs> and it stimulates the entire clitoral area. I've heard that this gives like insane pleasure and I was obviously excited to try it out myself and I really liked it. It's a different sensation to other things that I've used in the past and I think that's because it stimulates the entire region. There's lots of nerve endings that need to be discovered down there and there are 12 different modes on this baby so let's just turn it on so you can... <laughs> Flashback! <laughs> it's actually really funny when you put it onto your skin. It, it, it makes like this sound. I'll put it on my arm, let's see. So it's like really going for it. <laughs> the medical grade silicone is super soft. Like, I just love the feeling of it. It's body safe, it's hygienic, and it's fully waterproof. So if any of you guys want to upgrade your bath time... <laughs> so if you are looking for convenient pleasure, relaxation, on the go, you want a new experience, it's always fun to discover new things about your body, then look no further. I have been enjoying it, and I think you might too. It's later in the day, and it's dinner time now, so I am just wearing the same tank top that I had on. I'm gonna pop on my blazer, um, and I wanted to show you these earrings. These are the Daisy Shrimps collaboration, so these aren't actually part of my collection, but I had to have them. I think they're so stunning. They have these little, um, let's see if this will focus kind of like gems on them and I just love the shape, I love the size. And I'm also wearing my gold snake chain. This is the long snake chain. Love it. So I'm getting ready to go out and see Tara, I'm so excited. Finally! This is so nice! We're at Nura by the way. Yes, we're at Nura. I feel like we've never really like <laughs> sat down and had dinner together. Yeah, we, have. we have, but not like one on one. Not one. We saw each other. I think in Vancouver and stuff. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I feel like unexpected pair. I know. We get on very well. Yes, we do. <laughs> She's therapizing me right now. Good morning. It is Wednesday, my last day in New York, and. I feel good. I 
I'm going to go get something to eat. Yesterday, I went to a place called Frankel's and I got a pastrami egg and cheese sandwich and it basically changed my life and I cannot go home until I have another one. <laughs> but this time I'm going to get it on a bagel, I think. Um, so I'm going to go there. I also want to go to Trader Joe's today. So I don't know what time it is. Where is my phone? Anyway, I got a, oh here it is. Um, it is 10.40 and I need to check out of the hotel at 12. So I need to get going. Okay, here it is. The Frankl's experience. Can you see that hot sauce? Now you see why I just had to get one more. This is unbelievable. I'm just sitting in the park, enjoying myself. Okay, I just got back to the hotel. I actually don't have as much time as I thought. So I need to pack this up within the next five minutes, go downstairs, drop off my bags and check out, and then I'm heading to Trader Joe's. But that sandwich, oh, it's so good. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Mini almost everything bagels, like teeny tiny crackers. And I'm gonna get these peanut butter filled pretzels. And I thought these looked cool jerk style plantain chips. This is what I came here for. Everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. This is what I'm here for. And check this out. Pizza sprinkle seasoning blend. My fiance loves pizza. <laughs> so I might get this for him. All the OGs will remember these. I used to get them for Reggie. This Greyhound, I think his name is Bradley. Um, yeah, his name's Bradley. I used to get these for Reggie and he loved them. So I'm here with Asami and Asami just did my nails. And this is not your average manicure, right? No. This is something that you have l discovered how to do and developed over time to create your own technique, right? Yes. It's a very special technique. Look at my nails. Wait, this is, this is better light. <gasps> Look at my nails. It's a French chrome. No, it's a French tip with a chrome. And you, are we gonna talk about your brand? Sure. Okay, so the brand is called? Etote. Etote, hang on, I'm gonna clean this screen. It means like art and hands. Okay. So nail art, all of that stuff. So you're Japanese from Kyoto. Yes. And you've developed this particular nail product. Can we show people? Sure. So you're basically famous for these products and it's a few different colors yes. that you mix together and she mixes it on this <laughs> amazing like block thing. So she gets like custom colors, although we just went with a white um, French Manny today. Can people buy this? Um, I'm going to launch um, in two months. In two months. And yeah, you can buy it through online. And where can people follow you on Instagram? Um, made by Asami. Mm -hmm. And you also do tattoos? Yes. So, for instance, this is... Did you do this on yourself? No, oh my gosh. Say, these are not by me because I'm a right-handed. Right. Yes. But it's a similar style to that. Exactly. Would you say? Yes. Yeah. I love it. Thank you so much for my amazing nails. Yay. Now I'm going to the airport. <laughs> I've made it home with my baby. <laughs> hello. Hello. Oh, hello, my angel. Oh my God, she was so excited to see me when I got home. Oh my God. She's so cute. She is so cute. I missed you so much. Oh my gosh. My flight was actually fine. We landed at 8 a.m. London time, which is 7654, 3 a.m. New York time. So my jet lag is popping off, but I have my little angel, <laughs> so I don't care. <laughs> Anyone who has a dog or an animal knows. Like, it's just so nice to come home to your little angel. Hello, did you miss me? Did you miss me? She's literally my reason for being. It was pouring rain when I got off the train. I was like, don't cry. So what I might do now is have a little nap just to, her fur is all over me, 
have a little nap and I have to say shout out to my fiance. He left me some flowers and my favorite cookies and a little love note saying P.S. Sorry the flowers aren't better. It was all I could find. <laughs> so sweet. Oh my gosh. I have been asleep for six hours. <laughs> that, was, that was really bad. That was really bad of me because it's now four o'clock. I took today off, obviously. Um, it's now four o'clock and I am not gonna be able to sleep tonight. But, what can you do? Jet lag, baby. I shouldn't have done it, but I was just so tired. Um, but this little baby girl needs to go outside. When I get back inside, I'm having a shower. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay awake. Um, yeah, it feels good to be home. Uh, there's no place like home, obviously. But I love New York. I've always loved New York, specifically Brooklyn. Um, and I just feel so myself there. I feel really like I love the people there. I think the people in New York are so friendly and like up for chatting and it's like so easy to make connections with people. Finally, we're getting out of the house. Finally. But I'm going back to New York in December with my man and he's, sorry, this is not focusing. He's never been to New York. And he said to me the other day, he's like, I'd be down to move to New York. I was like, huh. So it's definitely something to think about. Let's see how he likes it first. And I, we're not moving anytime soon, but it's just nice to fantasize about sometimes. It's nice to switch things up and it'd be so nice to be closer to my mom. But again, I love London. My whole life is here. You see my struggle? Where's my dog? Oh, she's, she's, I call her my little shadow because she's always right beside me. Um, and would Effie like New York? I don't know. I don't know. This is the thing, like whenever you go somewhere, you're like, I could live there, but then you get back in the swing of things in your life and you're like, no, actually I'm good, I'm good. You know what's so funny? The universe is so funny because I was just saying all that and I was just walking through the park with my dog and I met a lovely girl named Holly. We like spoke for about 20 minutes. We exchanged numbers. We're gonna become friends now. And so the universe is obviously like, what are you talking about? I think I'm just gonna try to be more open in my life. And I think for some reason, New York, it's easier for me to be open. Um, but I'm gonna try my best to bring that energy to London. Um, so everything happens for a reason, and I feel, I feel good, I feel happy. Gosh, I really needed that trip. Really needed that trip. Also, my nails, oh my god, they are stunning. So now I can look forward to my favorite thing in the world, which is a cup of tea, a proper cup of tea. So I am gonna grab my oat milk. Effie's having a little treat. And I'm actually uploading my New York vlog right now. So I'm just um, writing the description box and everything and trying to get that out for you guys. It's a long vlog. If you didn't see it yet, it's 24 minutes long. I'll link it in the description. But it is a long one. It's a doozy. Okay, that description box took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, a lot of people are like, you still edit your own videos and do your own description boxes? I'm like, I like doing it. <laughs> For some reason, I like doing it. I love editing. I'm just gonna set you here. I'm giving Effie her food, salmon to love. Do you want salmon to love? Then I'm going to have a shower and it's gonna feel incredible. I've like completely messed up my um, travel routine. Normally, when I get home, I unpack immediately, then I have a shower, and then I'm like good to go for the day, but I just wasn't feeling it this time, but you know what? Let's go easy on ourselves. Let's go easy on ourselves. So I'm gonna hop in the shower now. And who's gonna have her dinner? Ooh. That feels so good. I'm doing a Medic 8 
hydrating mask. I love this mask. So now I am just going to finish unpacking, enjoy my evening, and then tomorrow it's back at my desk for a regular work day. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I hope you enjoyed following along on this journey with me and I will see you next time. Bye.